A boarding party tears across Sydney Harbour at full throttle. Its eyes and ears, the water police launch alert, now fitted with revolutionary gadgets that can lock onto suspect vessels. The alert was one of the boats that chased the North Korean drug ship Pong Su off Australia's east coast for three days in April. And also course back to Eden Port. When the Pong Su incident took place, we realised then that we had a, a real need for better communications equipment. Now they've got it, for a trial run at least. New satellite gear that can send live pictures or instant photos of suspicious looking ships back to police or military analysts on shore. But a foreign vessel coming into Australian territorial waters that may be carrying illegal immigrants, could be carrying drugs or it could be a, a, some sort of terrorism vessel. It also has internet access to the latest weather forecasts police intel and foreign vessel databases and emails allow quick messages between land and sea. Once they acquire a target vessel, marine operation support teams can rapidly deploy from one of these, a rigid hull inflatable or rip. If they happen to find suspects or contraband on board, they can then take command of the ship and steer it back to port. But what if the suspect ship's crew is armed? The new technology also allows images from the camera on a police chopper to be beamed via satellite back to base. The boarding party can be warned. If it's too risky, a police commander ashore can alert the SAS instead. Sean Fewings, 10 News.